Welcome to Puentes a la Comunidad, Bridges to the Community. Hello, I'm your host, Emily Guerra. My guest on this edition is Community Options Senior Employment Specialist, Jose Solis, to talk to us about Community Options and Cupid's Chase 5K Run, coming up on Saturday, February 11th. Thank you for joining me on Puentes. Emily, it's a great time to be here again. You're welcome. First of all, what is Community Options? Yes, Community Options is an organization that supports people with developmental disabilities. Here locally, we support people by a program called Supportive Employment. Another one is called Community Inclusion. And we also have 24-hour residential services. How long have you been with Community Options? Oh, gosh, it's been about 13 years, and um, it's been a wonderful experience. Went from working with uh, direct care staff one-on-one to working as, you know, in the houses, out in the community. And now I have a privilege to go out and find jobs for people with development with disabilities. And is that a challenge? Is that difficult? You know, it depends on the person. I grew up with my baby sister that had uh, spinal bifida, so I knew the physical challenges that she encountered. So I was able to live that experience, and, and it just makes it a lot more easy to just kind of put your mindset on helping. Where is Community Options located? Community Options is located on 2500 Missouri Avenue. So pretty much we meet in the center and then, you know, everything kind of spreads out from there. Mainly we're in the community and then, of course, all the residential services. We have houses all over Las Cruces. What else do we need to know about community options and what the community can do to help the developmentally disabled? Well, you know, I think it's just an acceptance. It's, uh, you know, Las Cruces has been such a a great community, and I think there's a a really good acceptance. And I believe the way people could really help is just by getting involved. You know, find an agency, come to Community Options, ask, you know, what, what is there for employment, what is there for volunteer work, and how can we be part of the mission? What has been your biggest passion in helping? You said your sister at Spina Bifida. What else? Yeah, so, you know, it all began because of that. And I, you know, kind of tasted working with people with developmental disabilities, and it became so rewarding. And through the years, you know, I've had really great experiences. For example, one gentleman that I worked with, he had a fear of of swimming, and it was just this thing that he always dealt with. And at the end, he actually ended up competing in the uh, National um, Special Olympics, and he did a great, great job. And, you know, finding jobs for people with developmental disabilities is just amazing. Just having that experience of seeing them prepare for their interview and prepare for their first day of work and getting the first paycheck. And it's just so heartwarming to go home and, and feel like you did something amazing. The first chase was in 2011. Why is it important to the community? Ah, Cupid's Chase is a wonderful event. This is a fundraiser that we do every single year to support community options. And it has become, like we said, you know, from our first beginnings to now having an awesome, wonderful race that happens in Old Messiah, which I remember you were with us that one year when we had it there. And, you know, we really have a good time. It's a 5K, and we encourage everybody to go out there, even if you are not like a serious runner, just a person that wants to help out. You could go and walk. We're allowing people to bring the strollers if they'd like, and you could go out there. And we do have room for those serious runners, people who are very athletic and want to go out there and challenge themselves. It is a certified course. We are going to have you know, uh, law enforcement out there. It's a legal race. We're going to have a professional chip time company that's going to be out there. Um, but if you also want to just go and have a good time, we're going to have music, mariachi. Of course, we're going to have uh, people giving out free burritos and free donuts and, and coffee and all that stuff to make it fun. How can the community help to make this a successful Cupid's Chase 5K run? Yes, definitely. Of course, by registering, participating is always great. And, of course, if you want to volunteer, we also have room for that. We have all that information on our website, comop.org, that's C-O-M-O-P dot org, or cupidschase.org, and all the information is there, both registration, and you can also register to volunteer there as well. And those who do have some developmental disabilities, can they participate? Yes, of course. 
you're welcome. Come on over. Join us. Whether you want to have fun, you want to walk, you want to run, you want to just volunteer or just hang out, everybody is welcome. What time does it start again? So the actual event starts at 7 a.m. So if you do not register online, you can register from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Or um, you could, you know, show up if you register early. You could show up at the race starts right at 9 a.m. And it's going to be right there at the plaza. So if you guys are familiar with Old Messia, you have the church and the plaza. The race starts right from the church. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us about community options that support people with developmental disabilities. And, of course, Cupid's Chase 5K Run in Old Messia on the plaza across from Basilica of San Albino. Yes, we will see you all there. We hope to see you guys. We hope to have a beautiful day. And, of course, as we know, Messia itself is just gorgeous. You know, the plaza is beautiful. Go out there and have a good time with us. Thank you again, Jose Solis, Senior Employment Specialist for Community Options. Thank you, Emily. You're welcome. For KRWG Public Media, I'm Emily Guerra.